So I want to talk about my two-day experience using Dutasteride or Avidart. Dutasteride 0.5 milligrams. I used it just for two days. I'm a huge advocate for natural hair loss prevention techniques, herbs, supplements, organic methods, exercises, which I do daily. But I was doing a lot of reading on Rob Thomas's Perfect Hair Health website and a bunch of reading on other websites and articles. And if you have stubborn hair loss, uh, finasteride or tetasteride is recommended which because it can really target the serum, scalp, DHT, and the scalp. So I started taking this for just two days. I ordered a three-month supply. After one day, I had pretty bad symptoms. I had... Um, anxiety, I had kind of depressive feelings, my libido went way down. Um, when I would see women outside, I wouldn't feel as excited as I did before. And for a whole week following that, I quit after two days, but for a whole week after that, I felt kind of depressed and anxious. My friends could tell as well, they were commenting on it. Um, so a lot of people said this was nocebo because after two days you wouldn't experience any symptoms so quickly, but I think I'm really sensitive to this drug, so uh, I think dutasteride is a no-go for me. Some people are suggesting finasteride because it's a weaker drug um, than dutasteride, although I read a lot of data online and articles that dutasteride actually has less side effects than finasteride. So either way, Finasteride, Dutasteride, it's it's out of the window for me. Um, if you have any advice on alternatives, that would be great. One thing I did do is I took the capsules out of the box and drained the liquid from the gels and made a uh, topical serum mixed with green tea. And I uh, used a eyedropper to put that onto my scalp. And that didn't really help either. So I'm just going to throw the Dutasteride Avidart plan out the window. If you have any other ideas or suggestions, organic techniques, DHT blockers that are natural without um, provoking sexual or mental symptoms, please comment below.